Moving to the United States has always been my dream. Matter of fact, it's a dream come true. My name is William Nyangun, and this is my migration story. I was born in Nairobi, Kenya, in December 9th, 1990. I am the last born of five children. That includes three handsome brothers and one beautiful sister. My family calls me Bill. When I was six months old, my mother got an opportunity that saw her moving to the United States by herself. The immigration laws must have been too strict that she was not able to carry a six-month-old baby along with her. According to the African culture, raising a child is not just a parental responsibility, but the whole community is involved as well, as it was in my case. I grew up around so many uncles and aunts who would not hesitate to smack my behind if I seemed to lose my direction. My family was there to celebrate all my birthdays as they watched me grow. Even when we were worlds apart with my mom, she would still send me lots of gifts, letters, and voice recordings on tapes, which would play her voice, expressing her unconditional love for me. These were followed by constant phone calls that always checked on us. My mom made her first trip back to Kenya when I was nine years old. It was such an emotional moment for her, more than it was for me, when we first hugged each other. That must have been the very best moment of my life. After my mom's visit, my siblings moved to the United States at different times. This was a happy moment for me, and at the same time sad. It was happy because I would be getting more gifts and attention, and at the same time it was going to be sad because I would miss them. In the winter of 2012, I moved to the United States for school. That was the first Christmas that we were all united as siblings in my mother's house in Virginia. As a tradition, Lots of African and American food were prepared. I was able to start college in the spring of 2013 at Minneapolis Community and Technical College. One of the main challenges I faced was the cold winters. My brothers tease me now that I can survive in any weather since I survived the Minnesota cold. A year later in the winter of 2013, I lost my mom to a battle of cancer. I am still grateful because she had nurtured my brother and sisters in a special ways, hence I still get to see her presence in each and every one of them. They are settled with good jobs and family, and all play a major role in supporting me in my education. I am now a junior year in the University of Minnesota, pursuing a degree in computer science. I hope to graduate and start an IT company back in Kenya, where I will be able to help the less fortunate children by funding for their education, so that they will be able to achieve their dreams as well.